Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on this episode. Well, on the previous episode, we went to the Eastern Palace. And sorry for the delay there, it kind of took me a, well, a little bit of time to research what I'm going to do. Um, basically, there's a major glitch that uh, it's a little difficult to pull off, but I managed to figure it out. And it's a major sequence breaker. And there's another sequence breaker much later in the game, but uh, we'll see what happens. At any rate, uh, we need to go visit Sahasrala, uh, Sahasrashala, Swahili, Spaghetti. I'm just going to call him Spaghetti Man. can never pronounce that name correctly, viewers. Sorry. Maybe if I practiced it? Nah. I'm not going to take it too seriously, but yeah, there's definitely going to be some definite sequence breaking in this. Um... But anyways, with this we get the nice Pegasus Boots. And this is of course an item that we do need to complete the game. And if you'll notice, above us there's a little crack in the wall. Um, what you can do is just put the little bomb here and uh, you'll be able to get to a little special secret treasure. Where you get some bombs, which are nice. And some rupees. And what else do you think we're going to get? More rupees. So that's pretty nice. I'm not going to get all of the heart pieces uh, immediately. I'll get them eventually. But there's a more pressing concern. But anyways, with the dash attack, you can hit the wall and bounce back. And that actually can be used for a couple of shortcuts. Um, there's one shortcut that's used in a lot of speed runs that I wasn't able to pull off in time. And it was just kind of silly. So, But when I get there, I'll probably mention it. I'll try to, anyway. But two of the major glitches that I found and uh, figured out how to pull off. Um, well, let's just put it this way. It can kind of uh, bypass a major part of the game, if you know what I mean. And then there's one additional shortcut that you can take. It's not really a... Well, I guess it's somewhat of a shortcut. It's not really a glitch, it's just um, taking advantage of a little-known fact about the game, but we'll get to that. The episodes are going to be a little shorter than most episodes. I'm going to try to build them around 10 minutes or so, because I've recorded a little ahead of time to make sure I could do these glitches and not break the game. And so I'm going to have to divide it up into good sections there for you. But anyways, down here, there's not much here. Um, there's actually a glitch that I tried to pull off in terms of... Um, well, actually, there's a way to swim before you get the uh, flippers, but I wasn't able to pull it off. It's not here. It's actually lower in the game, lower in the map, sorry. And um, that's one glitch I couldn't pull off. I practiced and practiced it, wasted about 30 minutes on it, and just said forget it. But the other glitches, even though it did take me a while to figure out, I, I did figure them out. So that's nice. Anyways, we're not going to do any sequence breaking yet. Uh, that's going to be after the next palace. But for now, let's head over um, here, if we can get out of here, ahem. Yeah, I'm going to be making some stupid mistakes every now and then, but whatever. We're alive. Well, anyways, here we get to see what I thought was one of the creepier parts of the game. Creepier parts of any Super Nintendo game. This really did creep me out when I was a little kid. Because, I mean, I hadn't played yet through the game, and I had no idea what that was, you know. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, this is probably going to be a no-death LP. But I may, um, pretend to die, if you know what I mean. Just to show off something. But rest assured, viewers, I was able to pull off some interesting sequence-breaking glitches. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to show that off. So stay tuned, you know. Here anyways, here we get the book of Mudora, and um, that'll be useful later. But not yet. We're 
not going to deal with that area just yet, um, but we will later. I'm just doing a little wandering around, really, at this point. This is the guy I was trying to find. I wanted to show this off to you. Alright, let's do exactly what he told, tells us to do. And every now and then you may find a tree with some rupees or something in it, but or maybe bombs, but... It's not really that important, but I did want to show that off. It's time to move on. That's the one thing about using the Pegasus boots to uh, try to shortcut through the levels a lot, or the map a lot, is sometimes you'll just run into things. Or maybe you'll run into an enemy that can't be defeated through the Pegasus Boots. Anyways, you saw a cave up there? Um, we'll deal with that later. And we can't push that boulder out of the way just yet. Uh, but maybe we'll, we will eventually. It's kind of uh, giving us clues. The game is that... Um, well, it's giving us clues that... There's a particular item we'll get pretty shortly. But before we get there, uh, I'm definitely going to do a major sequence break, and I'm going to go take care of this dungeon right here, believe it or not. And to do that, no, I'm just kidding, we're not going to do that dungeon just yet. Um, but I do want to go ahead and get this, because it's on the way. No, we're not going to do the, um, this uh, swamp palace, or whatever you want to call it, just yet. No. We don't have the, um ability to do that. Or the items we need. Anyways, if you hit the left one over here, bombs will come out, but uh, you can actually get out of the way quick enough to not worry about them. I bet you guys are wondering how the hell I was going to do this dungeon. Um... You know, before <laughs> I got a particular item. Anyways, if you pick up the fish there, um, you can't get the heart, so that's kind of interesting. Something I discovered that interests maybe only me, but whatever. Now, some of these big stones will have stuff underneath them, but uh, not all of them. In fact, most won't. But we can't really deal with that just yet. We'll deal with it later. Anyways, here's a fairy, uh, if you need it. Might as well. I mean, it's there. And here we go to the Desert Palace, of course. Uh, but before we get there... Oh, notice that little uh, monolith below us there. And those little uh, things in the middle of the desert are mines uh, that will hurt if you hit them, so don't. Or at least I think they are. If there's supposed to be something else, let me know. Because honestly, I didn't check to see what they were. I'm going off of my memory here. Anyways, there's a nice little uh, breakable wall here. So let's see what's behind the wall. And we get another piece of heart, so that's nice. Always watch out for the swamp men, or the desert men, or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you'd want to call them, but anyways, this is why we needed the Book of Medora, because we can't read this. Unless we pull out the Book of Medora, and it tells us to... Make a wish, and there you go. Well anyways, I'm going to stop the video here before we get into the palace, but thank you so much for watching. 
Let's play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.